Hello, I'm a PX Toy Cat, and did you know for just $3.99 you can buy the Minecraft map called Giant Mobs? And this Minecraft map must be really exciting with a title and a name like that, and oh, actually, it turns out it is just mobs are bigger than you would otherwise expect. It's default Minecraft mobs just scaled up. I mean, who would spend their money on that? <sighs> I guess, I guess I would. Welcome back to Store Saturday, the weekly series where we review Minecraft store content and let you know if it's worth checking out in some way. This is the lowest rated piece in the last week with just a 3.4 star rating, but I mean, maybe it's good. I mean, if you actually read the description, even though they're marketing this basically is just a add-on, if you read, there is a giant custom village base ready for you to customize. Actually, wait, that's the one thing that isn't giant. Everything else is giant, and this, this is just a, a custom village base. That's nice. Anyway, let's create this world and see what's going on. I mean, after all, I did just spend $4 on something that probably should be an add-on, and if it was an add-on, it'd be better, by the way. So uh, I'm excited to see what comes along with this. We've got some instructions, some starting equipment. I'm I'm liking the use of maps. I'm pretty sure this is, yep. The, the, wait, is it a map? It's a painting, never mind. I'm liking this very ugly painting that the map comes with. Oh God, it's so laggy. Look at what's happening with the painting. I don't like it at all. Okay, so how to play is a book. Starting equipment is, I mean, they're very kind with their starting equipment. Glad they're not being stingy. Um, and let's give it a try, I guess. Let's see what's going on with this world. So, uh, giant mobs will spawn randomly throughout the world. Customize the village or build your own base. Protect yourself from the giants. Oh, that's, that's all there is. There's, what? Was that really instructions? <laughs> what? Can you really call that instructions? Okay, whatever, fine. It's, it's cool. So, um, yeah, this is mobs, but they're giant. There are also regular sized mobs, as you can see. So, really, that's that's exciting. Can't do that with just an add-on. And, uh, yeah, as you can probably work out already, there's a few frame rate issues at spawn on this map uh, for what comes of it. So, not only is it a questionable concept that probably should be an add-on, uh, and in is indeed already an add-on, by the way, you can download for free on most platforms, uh, but also it has serious performance issues. Uh, my god, this is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> let's let's kill the sheep and see if it drops any more than normal. Oh, it's got more health because it's giant, I guess. Okay, so you kill it, you get the same drops. So they didn't modify the drops in any way, they just modified the mod size. I wonder if the, the creeper has a bigger explosion though. That's, that's a fun thing they should definitely do. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so... Again, this isn't video editing magic. This is the game genuinely crashed that badly. Or let's say slowed down. It didn't crash, but the, the creeper reaction part of it did. Also, as you can see, there's errors in how the spawning works. So there's just a giant creeper chilling on the inside of this building. This not correctly lit up building, by the way. But again, I guess we can have different concerns. And uh, yeah, this creeper does not seem to want to explode, bizarrely enough. I... I don't understand any of what this map is trying to be, if I'm being honest with you. So yeah, I, I, I imagine he spawned inside that house, then maybe? So let's let's see if we can go find him. And then maybe this all makes sense if we just look on the inside of... Nope, this makes no sense. This is... Not only is this a, an add-on, not only is this $4. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, that was actually a bigger explosion than normal. That's that's fun. Not only... Uh, but also, they, they didn't change any of the mob drops. Or mob spawning mechanics. So instead we just get extreme lag and <laughs> so the cat was blown up by giant creeper. Okay, at least it at least it recognizes something was different. Okay, I've lost my wooden sword permanently, which is a big tragedy because how else will I kill big sheep? The answer is I will not kill big sheep. I failed you all in this endeavor. But um yeah, so playing in survival. Uh, this is giant mobs that cause extreme lag to the game. This is being played on Xbox One X, by the way. Uh, you know, if you're playing on mobile, expect even higher amounts of lag. So it's only for, you know, th if this doesn't run correctly on the most powerful console, it's not even really built for console where you can't download add-ons. It's just a thing. It's, it's a paid version of something you could already choose to buy. But the one thing that you can't get, unless you pay for this map, is this spawn area. I mean, look at this giant village. Is this worthwhile. Let's find out. Let's go for a look and see what we find. Oh, empty, empty rooms. It's exterior only because you get to build the inside. That's, that's, that's the exciting bit. What I love in Minecraft is being given 95% of a, of a village with houses and real places and then being told to do the rest myself. I, I love building interiors in Minecraft. 
Um, uh, that's that's my favorite thing to do. I I like having other people's exteriors already built and then building my own. It's so fun, and I would pay four dollars for the privilege. So I'm glad they've nailed down the market for me here. Oh look, there's a patch of grass over here that has a giant sheep on it. I guess it's like a giant sheep farm. There seems to be a spawner there, so you could probably farm the giant sheep, but there's no actual need or want to. Also, that is actually quite terrifying. Um, so that's that's fun, I guess. Giant mobs in Minecraft, except most of them don't seem to be giant. If we look around, you can see, maybe because of the spawn cap, maybe just the game is, uh, you know, it just hasn't spawned any in, but you can see no other giant mobs. It's just around spawn, and because they're giant creepers, the one big benefit of having, like, this safe area clearly doesn't work because... You know, if giant creepers spawn, all of the builds that you do give the player are going to explode eventually. I'm just I'm just so perplexed as to <laughs> why why all of these decisions were made. So yeah, there is a pretty enough build near spawn. I mean, if you're looking for a survival spawn, this is something. Oh, we found our third mob. It's a giant skeleton. Again, you can see how spawning is just not correctly working on this in the slightest. Oh god, see a giant spider spawned up there. It's daytime. These these two giant spiders shouldn't have spawned. Let alone this. He spawned in the middle of the doorway. I uh I don't think this is working quite <laughs> as intended. Especially given the skeleton can't even shoot. I wonder, does the skeleton shoot giant arrows or I guess we I guess we don't get to find out because it doesn't work. So so far we've encountered a spawn area that is kind of nice, although it's, it's prone to creepers, which would defeat the point of it being nice. Uh, we've encountered an amount of lag that means I can't eat this raw beef, no matter how hard I'm trying, because there's three giant mobs on screen. Only three giant mobs is enough to make the game so laggy that not only do drops not work, but it takes that long to eat a single item of food. So, pretty, pretty depressing and tragic. Although, at least there's three diamonds near spawn, so you've got that going for you, I guess, and there's a... Ooh, a spooky pretend cave we could maybe want to go into later. Um, again, I, I I look at this map and I just say, who is this for then? If it's not if it's not for the console player because it doesn't run correctly on a console, if it's you know not for someone who you know like uh, and therefore it's for people who can download the free version of the you know this add-on if they want to. So um, yeah, as a result, it's not for the console player. Uh, it's not for Someone who wants some builds that spawn because, I mean, they're going to explode. It's not for someone who even wants giant mobs necessarily because of how broken they'll be right here. Is this just an add-on for me to play around with and create it? Let's find out by doing exactly that. I mean, I imagine I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, so let's try and do this to the max. Let's spawn in some giant parrots. A giant wandering trader for whatever. You know, a giant parrot and a giant strider. Let's at least have some giant cuteness, you know? Let's, let's get my money's worth from that. Oh, a giant cow too. So here is a giant strider. I lied. There is no giant strider. And but here is a giant. Oh god, they oh <laughs> lord. <laughs> so here is a giant parrot, and here are some giant striders. This is very cute to look at. I will say, looking at striders in giant might be useful if you're doing pixel art on them. And uh, I'm pretty sure we've crashed Minecraft. If I'm being entirely honest with you. But besides that, totally worth it. Very cute. Very fun results. Yeah, I, I do not like looking at that parrot at all. There is there is some serious distress happening there. So we fly away from that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tame the giant parrot. And it's going to be very cute. And I'm going to see if the parrot will get on my shoulder. <laughs> the parrot does in fact get on your shoulder. And this, I see this as an absolute win personally. Okay, so this is adorable. No more needs to be said. But you know what I need to find out? I need to find out if we grab ourselves a jukebox, and then maybe we grab ourselves some music bit disc to go along with it. I wonder if, uh, oh yeah, you better believe it. Oh, it stopped. Please go back to normal. Please go back to your dance. That was very cute. So yeah, these are cute behaviors, and you know what? I'd be lying if I said I, said I didn't love this. Oh, the parrot is flying around with me in creative, and so if you look at the top left, it's kind of bugging out the game the tiniest bit but I think it's totally worth it. I can't even, there's no angle. Okay, there we go. There's one angle where we can even see this correctly. And that's that's cute, I guess. Oh God, he's even in this menu. <laughs> okay, let's, let's focus. Let's look at some other mobs, shall we? I, I need to see giant cod. I, I'm sorry, I do. Actually, I want to see salmon because salmon comes in three sizes. I want to see if the giant salmon actually 
does what you would expect from it. And then I also want to get maybe a giant skeleton. Oh, I thought it was being crazy and just missing the giant skeleton horse or regular horse, but there just aren't any giant horses. There are lots of giant mobs, but no giant horses. So I guess we'll get a giant strider and then we'll tame it with a saddle. It seems weird because the one reason I can see you not having a giant horse is because you could sit on it, but you can tame many other mobs, but whatever. Not my issue, technically speaking. So let's spawn a giant strider. And let's sit on a giant strider. Okay, no, you can't you can't put saddles on them. Okay, life is sad. Not not even the most basic of functionality is copied over. But you know what? Giant cod <laughs> and giant salmon. You better believe these have some value. So there's one size oh. This is this is fascinating. Some giant salmon don't spawn giant. Only only one of the sizes does. So I guess they like they didn't look into upsizing all three types of salmon and instead just upsized one type. Yeah, you can see there's two different sizes that aren't giant. Also, giant drown spawned. Interesting. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty big mistake to make. So we found a big bug. Uh, you know, just for fun. We need to do this. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, we found we found quite a few bugs, actually. We found a few emissions, and we found that there's not really anything in this. Uh, and also, there's a dumb amount of lag from just a few animals being on screen at one time. Like, look at look at what's happening here. Look at the chugginess that wither health bar is having. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little curious as to how big the explosion will be. Or if it ever happens, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. The game is horrifically laggy. Oh, that was a really even explosion, actually. I mean, it almost seems wrong. It almost... I mean, it does seem wrong. So, uh, yeah, this is... Um, this is a add-on that you can buy for your Minecraft world. And it's mostly useful for... For creative goofing around. I can't imagine there's too much use to playing of this in survival because all the mobs drop the same things and have the same behaviors and therefore aren't too useful because most of the mobs that would have a use aren't in giant anyway. But the thing is, is this add-on is restricted to this world. You might think that because uh, you bought the pack and you bought, as you can see, this giant mobs, not only resource pack, but behavior pack, that you can then apply that to any other world. But if I try and do precisely that right now, if we take stream Sunday, which is a thing. Uh, if we take this, uh, you know, pack right here, and we're like, okay, let's go looking for, you know, the one that I just bought, that giant mobs. Even though all of my texture packs that I bought are in here, you can't buy a behavior pack, which means, as you can see, even though you just saw that in my other world, there is no option to have giant mobs on this other creative world, even if I want it. Which, uh, seems pretty wild, because therefore, you're not buying the add-on, you're buying a world, and therefore, as a world, this is one of the worst investments you can make. So yeah, as you can tell from the fact that this does fit into the new worlds category, by the way, so this is a Minecraft world you're buying, uh, and you know, the fact that you have to buy the world to have the add-on pack, this isn't buying an add-on, it's buying a world. Except if you look at Pickaxe Studios, the people who are making this uh, particular world, you can see that like, oh yeah, they've made 160 things, and looking at the vast majority of those 160 things, it's skin packs they're selling to you. They, yeah, you can buy skin packs from anywhere from, you know, $2, $3, this one's only $1, how cheap, this one's $2, $3, basically they sell skin packs for the most part. They make skins for your Minecraft customization, and you know what, maybe people enjoy those skins, sure, but this isn't a world-making team. This is a team that clearly wanted to sell an add-on for Minecraft, that's, that's you know, like, basically what they do, additions to the Minecraft, but couldn't do so, so were forced to make a world. And, again, I feel like this is a worst of both worlds situation. If you're someone who wants the giant mobs mod and therefore is willing to pay money for something that's otherwise out there, you get a bad deal. If you are looking for a Minecraft map, you get a bad deal because you're basically not buying a map. You're buying the ability to have giant polar bears, even though that doesn't really add to the world in any way. So they actually ruin the world size of this map. Um, and what I question about this is, you know, I, I'm not going to pick on Pickaxe Studios here. I mean, I don't like skin packs personally, but some people do. But the fact that they were not able to sell the add-on as they wanted to and they had to make this map means that everyone goes away from the table unhappy. I mean, again, it runs poorly on the few places where you would need to buy an add-on because Minecraft doesn't let you download them yourself. So, okay, that one's off the table. Okay, if you wanted the world, also a terrible experience, that's off the table, and therefore this only works if you want an add-on and you want a world in a weird hybrid system, and if you want that, I'm afraid it's not worth $4. And truth be told, this comes down to a fundamental issue with the marketplace. You can buy four, four things, as you can see in the marketplace. There are skin packs, worlds, texture packs, and then technically mashup packs, although really that's just combining all three of these other things together into the same 
uh, bundle. So you can buy free things on the on the marketplace, and that is skin packs, worlds, and texture packs. But a lot of the people who put a lot of effort into Minecraft are the people making add-ons and mods. A lot of the effort Minecraft even puts into all of their patch notes. I'll show you some recent ones where you know most of the changes are just add-on changes. Minecraft wants people to make add-ons. They're putting a lot of effort into it, and they even want people to make add-ons on the marketplace. But they're not selling them by themselves. Presumably, this is because of the Skyrim mods controversy, where they started selling mobs and uh, mods and as a result, a lot of people got very upset. Presumably, this is because of the Skyrim mods controversy. They were the first game to try and sell mods, and they got destroyed for it. But I mean, uh, you know, you have to work out, are you not willing to sell mods, or add-ons as they're called for Bedrock, because of the fact that you think there'd be too much controversy? Or are you going the other way and you think you should be able to sell mods? Players do need to be able to download that, because if that's the case, bare minimum, you need to be able to take those uh, mods and behavior packs. I mean, there's a lot of other examples here, like, you know here is a map called Pets 2. If you want, you know, you should be able to take that Pets mod, that Pets behavior pack, oh, look how cute they all are, and you should be able to have that on any other world. You're limiting the player unnecessarily otherwise um, at the bare minimum, and at their best, just admit to people you're selling it, or don't allow people to sell maps that are basically just add-on things. I mean, I, I can comment on the fact that, like, you know, my marketplace team has had some things go through, and they've been reviewed, like, a, a, a ridiculous amount of time, like, fundamental changes are required. So how did this get through? Not only a quality review, but also a technical review without people realizing that like, oh yeah, it has serious performance issues and also it isn't really even a map in the slightest. It just makes me question, uh, you know, as a team, you need to have a straightforward opinion and that opinion doesn't need to be for just PR reasons. You need to have one that works for the players because ultimately people are choosing to support this. You know, I, I, I wouldn't describe myself as the most enthusiastic supporter of uh, giant mobs. Like, you know, maybe a two out of five at best, right? But a lot of people are buying these things to support the people who make them and to, yeah, like, obviously that is a key thing in why you might buy something as opposed to getting, I think, for free. That and convenience are the two things. And if you take away their convenience, if you take away the quality product that they would otherwise be getting, uh, what you're doing is you're selling nothing. You are uh, just taking the money, uh, you know, again, obviously a healthy uh, percentage of which goes to Microsoft directly. It doesn't all go to the people who make the maps. That is something that is obvious and has been admitted. We, we, you know, that's not it's not a surprise. But you know, they are taking the money. They're doing fine. And then the end, uh, you know, the person making the stuff is being short-sighted because they can't sell what they want to. And then the end user can't use what they want to on any map. I mean, why can't I have my giant mobs that I don't really want? Why can't I have them on my infinite seed that I went out and checked? Why can't I do that? Why is it that I can apply a texture pack? to any world, including ones that Minecraft themselves are selling, like, you know what, this oh, a super cute texture pack, or the Toy Story 4 one, which they heavily promote, and did a collab with Disney 4, why can I apply these 20 of my worlds, but I can't apply any of these? I have zero. You know how sad that is? Because if you play Minecraft uh, console, you can't download a behavior pack either, so it makes it even worse and even more confusing. Do I recommend giant mobs? <laughs> no, not in, the, not in the slightest. But is that their fault? Only mostly. Only mostly. Okay, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next week for probably a Q&A again. So if you've got any Q&A questions, follow me on Twitter, and then you can ask them if I put out a tweet saying I'm asking for questions. Don't do them in response to other tweets, because I don't use those ones. It has to all be in one place, but I want to find. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.